Hello, welcome back. My name is Brian Kirsch, and in this next part of the Synology piece, I've already got the hardware configured, I've installed the base OS, I've got it up and running. Um, when I configured the RAID group, so when I came in, I actually set up the RAID group, and I can show you here. I did a RAID 5 across 8 disks. A uh, little bit of a risk of double disk fault, but this is more for a uh, like a backup or utility, so not a big deal. Um, if you take a look at it, let me uh, just open that up a little bit. It the What it had to do was called a consistency check. So that is something where it just verifies the disks are good, looks at all the sectors and that. That took about three days. Now this is only 24, 26 terabyte, but it still took days to do. Now. The unit is functional while, the, while this is going on, but you're basically checking over the entire disk. The performance is going to be horrible. So I just let it go and let it do its thing. It finished about five hours ago, uh, but it truly took three days to do. Now, I've done this on a bigger unit, and it took close to a week. It's just what happens, and you can't interrupt it. You can't pause it. It's going to do it. It's just part of what, you, what happens. So I've got my storage pool, that's great. Everything looks healthy there. We're all green across the board. Um, when I brought it online, I've got an update to do. Uh, this is a little bit older version uh, hardware. So I'm actually would be updating to an older version of the DSM. I'm in the 6.x six, six range versus the 7 or anything later than that. Um, it's just what the, the hardware will support, you know, CPU and RAM on, on all that. So that's all up and running. Um, I can take a look at my hardware. Um, you know, do I want to do some hardware, uh, you know, hibernation and that? It's always a little bit of a mixed bag. I use hibernation just to save a little bit on the drives, but some people don't because, you know, starting and stopping them causes thermal issues. Uh, what you choose to do is your decision and you have to kind of figure out what's best for your environment, to be honest. Um, if I take a look at the, the packages here, these are all the things you can add into this unit. And this is coming out of the Synology store. Uh, some are free, some might be a, a few dollars to, you know, for a cost in that. Um, like the EXFAT, which is popular, uh, it's included in the newer versions, but on the older ones you have to buy it and it's $4. So nothing huge, but, you know, a few bucks here and there. Nothing big. Um, I really don't have anything installed on this because it's brand new. It's so brand new, in fact, I don't even have a, uh, a volume. So we'll go ahead and kind of set that up. Um, so if I come up here, I can take a look at uh, my file stations. I got my storage manager. I got all that fun stuff in here. And if you take a look, it's going to squawk that, hey, I don't have even a share going. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. And what am I going to call it? We'll use this as a backup, so I'm just going to call it backup. I'm not really going to uh, change much with this. I could set up different RAID groups and all that, but my problem is the moment I do that, I would start off another consistency check again. And I just I don't want to do that. So um, I've got one volume in here. It's got 22.68. Uh, and again, that's the Synology Hybrid RAID. Uh, I've got six four terabyte drives and two three terabyte drives. So it combined it and gave me 23 usable terabyte. Um, so I'm going to set it up. I'm not going to encrypt it. Uh, again, I don't need to worry about quotas or anything, but I could enable them if I needed to. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And it will go ahead and create that share, which would be accessible through a Windows share or a Mac. And you know, kind of go from there. So who's got access to it? Well, we give read write to the different admin accounts and that. And we'll go ahead and it's processing and away it goes. So it doesn't take long. It's basically just putting that share name and creating that. And if I take a look here, I want to go back to my storage manager. My apologies. You know, I'm taking a look at I got 23 available. I, I want to say uh, the, on the volume, I'm using about 90 megs so far. And that's because um, 
the Synology operating system. Not a big deal, but it's part of the part of what happens. Okay. And I noticed uh, my camera went offline, so I'm just gonna stop it for now. Um, with that being said, there's not a lot more to this, to be honest. Um, you've kind of got it up and running. I can go use it now as a share, and actually use it as a like in this case maybe a backup unit, what have you. So that's kind of the summary of what this is. Um, again, not really difficult to use, but definitely something, it takes a little bit of time to use these things. Um, they're, they're pretty user friendly. It's pretty easy to create your volumes and go forward with it. Um, you can take a look, you can see like the consistency check uh, finished a few hours ago. Um, the unit's fully up and running and I'm ready to go with it. I can use it to store, you know, data files, video, uh, photos, you name it. And it's protected by RAID. So as long as I don't have more than one, two disk fault at the same time, I'm good to go. So that's a Synology. It's kind of the final walkthrough of it. And just wanted to share and uh, hope everyone's having a good day. So thank you very much and take it easy.